first gear. That's the stall out. What we want to do is make our nice little U-turn. I'm going to show you what it feels like when you stall out. This is something that a lot of you know new new folks feel. You know, oh my God, I think I broke something. I stalled out. No, it happens. You feel me? So I'm just going to show you what it feels like. And you don't want to you know stall out too much. But so you do. All right, stalling out happens. When you don't have enough gas, first gear? Yeah. yes. When you don't have enough gas um, after you came off of the clutch a little too fast, and that's what uh, what happened earlier. In the yeah, but in, fir in first gear, that's mostly what you're going to experience if you're right. not getting that perfect matchup of the gas and exactly. off the clutch. Exactly. So again, I'm just going to do a slight little stall so you all know what it feels like. Don't be afraid. Oh. He didn't let it stall, but you heard you heard that a little bit. Exactly. So here we go. We're just gonna show you what it feels like to stall out. That's a stall out. All right, All right. I'm gonna get out of the car so I can get him going past. Exactly. Process. Hey y'all, so that whole process there was just me in first gear. During that whole time inside the car, like I said, first gear, very chill. I'm gonna show you what it looks like stalling out, but just on the outside, okay? Push down. That's the stall out. Sorry, you gotta do it one more time. I had to zoom out. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yep, stall out from the outside of the car. Exactly. So I'm gonna show you a stall out what it looks like you let go of the clutch way too fast. First gear. That's a stall out. Salutations, queens and kings. Welcome back to EKJJ. And as you can see, we have a very special video for you. Highly requested. Everyone was asking us to do a tour of our 2013 Chevy Spark. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Before we get into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up and make sure to share this video with other people as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. King, show them the details. Boom. So again, this is our 2013 Chevy Spark. It is a wonderful. Jala the color is jalapeno green. It actually mm -hmm. says that when, when we purchased it i'm gonna go over the specs and features for those spec and feature heads out there mm -hmm. this is a four-door hatch hatchback it has four seats cute cup holder in the middle i like it also has like a little um cubby hole right there for you to sit different things ignore the purse and the case but also has the cup holder back there this is a four what is this four speed manual actually five speed manual excuse me and combined miles you see our sticker shift right there mm -hmm. comment down below if you think we should change that to something else because i know there's like all these sick different um switches that you can put on here where it could be like a dice or a skull something like that so comment down below if you all have the same thing combined miles per gallon 32 all right total mm -hmm. seating like i said four and for highway 37 miles per gallon and then for city 28 miles per gallon the tank 9.2 gallons and regular fuel engine and all that well we're not gonna show them under the hood are we nah we gotta do all that <laughs> but yeah that, i mean that's that's pretty much it i love this little car the main thing that i love about it is the fact when we first purchased this car believe it or not i couldn't drive a stick king knew how to drive a stick in terms of tractors and stuff right king like, right <laughs> so he was able to drive it off the lot for us and then we both you know got better at it and like i said i love this car i love the um this is another feature that i love the door handles right here we picked people up before and they're like where's the uh where's the handle i love it love it love it we just got to kiss through some uh clean and stuff here i'll take you in the front seat well, king will take you in the front seat Let's get straight to it. First and foremost, safety first. 
All right, safety first. You don't worry about that. Real men wear this. Don't worry about that. I right, flipped it. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> he said all real right. men wear what? <laughs> the cheetah print? The cheetah print. <laughs> all right. So, first thing you want to do, especially inside of a manual, a manual car, you're going to have three pedals. Okay, I'm not sure if I showed you that, but those are your three pedals down here. Can you it's see it? It's furthest one that I'm pressing on now. See that one right there? This one is going to be for our manual gearbox. Okay, so we're going to shift the gear clutch. Oh, we got a truck going by. Hold on, give us a second. Great. So, making sure nobody's around us, what you do is you press down on the clutch, specifically to start this car. You got the key, boom, you turn it let up off the clutch something else that i do want to let you all know that anytime that you start a manual all right and if it's in gear once you take your foot up off of that clutch and you start it the car will start to move or want to move in that gear so always make sure that you're in neutral yes and if you, you start. some people when they stop their car they actually put it in first gear right. and lock it that way so when someone turns it on they don't know what they're doing it'll go ahead and stall and then you're trying to figure out what did i do exactly so most of the time we just leave it in neutral some people do leave it in that first and like you said you would have to take that out of that gear before you let go of that um, clutch exactly. So stall. exactly and the stalling is violent exactly <laughs> so what we're going to do is go ahead and get, uh, get down on our e-brake we're going to make sure queen is nicely safe here yeah. inside so the, the car, car does not start unless both of the seat belts all right are locked i'm just kidding all right so a nice safety feature e-brake down i also have my foot on my right foot is going to be controlling two pedals now mm -hmm. my right foot is going to be controlling the brake which i have right now and also the gas what i'm going to want to do is take my time foot down on the clutch while i also have my, my left foot is going to be on the clutch while my right foot is also going to be on the brake before we pull off and since we can't go forward we're going to have to be in reverse clutch it's down I'm in reverse as yep. you can see I'm gonna Way take my there. foot slowly off of the brake and then slowly off the clutch while pressing the gas now you actually don't have to press the gas because when you're in a manual the clutch actually goes up like halfway you will start to feel the car moving you'll feel that the clutch is engaged and the car will actually start moving for you so i haven't even touched the gas here it's all by itself i'm gonna want to give it some gas very slowly while i'm coming up off of the clutch you're yeah. starting to feel the engagement between the two but right now since i'm going slow I'm just gonna mm. take my time and if you're on a hill as well like it neutral helps. is your best friend you won't have to reverse if you're on a hill you can just put your car and turn it on leave yes. it in neutral and just take your foot off the uh, clutch and the brake now i have no feet on either clutch nor brake nor on the gas we're in the parking lot we're all safe and what we're going to do we're just going to drive down a little bit i'm just going to show you at least first and doing. second you know yeah getting in the first and then hopefully second gear in this parking lot so come with us while we get this done clutch down first gear engage we're going to come up off of the clutch very slow with our left foot you're going to feel that engagement halfway through you're actually going to feel the car starting to move this is all you congratulations i can actually come up off the clutch now that the car is moving by itself but we're only going to go so fast all right so again i have not done anything the car is moving by itself but what i want to do is give it some gas so just a little bit while we're in first gear you start to feel the car take off and you're starting to feel the inertia and then in the actual engine start to give itself some power in that first gear now if you pay attention to the rpms of the speedometer we've gone past a thousand rpms we're probably kicking around 12 maybe you know, I'm, I'm getting close to 2,000 RPMs and now the, at this the point. The doors will start to exactly. lock once you go past like 10 miles per hour. Which is an awesome automatic feature that this car has locking. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and I'm going to go down into another parking lot where we are. And I'm just going to come up so I can also show you all the feature of this car when we're going uphill. Let's say if yes. you stop. All right. So I'm actually putting the clutch down coming up real slow I've already kicked into second gear and I'm coming up real slow I want to let you all know that's probably one of the most amazing 
feelings is when you get yourself in the second gear. I know I'm moving fast right now, but no worries. When you get yourself in the second gear, and you see, you see I'm getting back in the first, but you get yourself in the second gear, that's when you actually start to feel a little bit more confidence in your driving, which is always something that we want you to remember. Confidence, especially with the stick, is key. Because you don't want to be out there and not have any type of confidence and you're wondering why you're not able to get off and go the way you want to. Again, we're only in first gear. We're just traveling around the parking lot. Over here. So, uh, like I mentioned, we're still in first gear. We're just traveling around the parking lot. We're actually gonna go up a hill right now, and I'm gonna show you the hill assistant. That the, that the car has a, that's a great feature of the car, a hill assist. Yes. So you don't just end up um, going back down the hill. All right, so you all feel that? The car is actually trying to get up this hill by itself. I am going to actually stop it from getting up the hill by itself, and I'm gonna show you the hill assist, all right? And then now it's not when once he goes to engage in first gear, it will lock like the back tires almost and like push you forward. Make sure you're just going forward yep. and not rolling backward. So I'm locked in. Boom. Now the car it may not feel the hill assist because of the angle that we're at right now, mm -hmm. and that's completely fine. But that is a feature that is definitely um, utilized. Sorry, we also have someone. Can you just yes. Can you pull off? Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and, and utilize the hill assist right now. Boom. I'm just gonna try and take it real slow, get into the parking lot, come back out, and again, take your time coming off of that clutch. Don't rush it. I think I'm gonna show you what it feels like when you do rush it, all right? So like I said, just go through the parking lot. I'm gonna try and get yourself in the second gear. Feeling the RPMs go up. We're past 2,000 RPMs, we're going to three. 3,000 RPMs, come on. Clutch down, very slow. Already in second gear, coming up. Boom, now you're going straight. I done came up off the clutch very slow. We're in second gear, we're taking our time. This is not a flattering position. All right, y'all, but we do appreciate you checking uh, checking out our video when it comes to uh, actually the reason why we made it was for yes. our crossing over of 100 subscribers. Yes. It's very quick. And Shout we do out to all of our 100 subscribers that yes. we have so far, 100 and growing. Our next yes. goal is 500, then 1,000, then yes. 4,000. Yes. So we can start monetizing the page. Yes. Keep checking in with us. We'll always do some other great car reviews. Um, again, this is just what we do. We uh, used to live in the city. This is great for us, yes. especially when it came to um, commuting. We, commuting. We commuted from Maryland through D.C. to Virginia every day for almost a year. Yes. And this was perfect for that. Yes. So, again, if you're interested in purchasing a 2013 Chevy Spark, hopefully this video and this review helped you all, especially mm -hmm. if you're thinking about trying a manual for the first time give it a try it's very fun and convenient we want to thank you for always showing us love and tuning in this is queen jam and king jerry, jerry. Yes. and we are going to tune out but catch you next time <laughs> all right y'all and remember to hit that subscribe button below yes and share this video with other car enthusiasts yes. all right and anyone who's looking to get a, a chevy spark because every time we go to the dealership to get our oil changed they're like are you trying to trade in your vehicle are you trying to trade in your vehicle no mm -mm. the only other thing that we didn't mention as well with the chevy spark whenever you're driving on the highway or at a high rate of speed you have to have all four windows at least crack you can't have just two crack mm -hmm because it sounds like there's like a warping happening. You just hear boom, 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 boom. And you have to roll or down or crack each window. That's another little feature that I found. But, but again, other than that, we love, love, love the car. And you yes. know, it's the design of it. Exactly. Very true to itself. Yes. And again, we hope that you stay true to yourself. But we thank you. Love you. Check us out next time. Bye. Peace. Ooh, I press the play button.